So this is even and odd function. Um, so here is the difference between an even and an odd function if you look at a graph. So on the left, it says a function is even when f of negative x equals f of x. Um, and it says, in other words, there is symmetry about the y-axis. Now, I think that this seems really confusing, but it's actually not. So I'm just going to give you a couple examples. So if you look, um, I'm going to make up ordered pairs. So these are like not correct as far as what it looks like on the graph. I'm just going to make them look nice. Let's say that this point right here, um, this guy, let's say it's 2, 4, okay? And then let's say that this point is negative 2, 4. So what this is saying is um, when the x is negative, that's this first part, do you see how the y value is 4? When this x is positive, do you see how the y value is still 4? So all it's saying is um, here f is negative, or I'm sorry, here um, the x is negative, here the x is positive. f of x is just a fancy way to write y. And so it's saying when the x is matched, but one's positive and one's negative, the y values are the exact same. That's literally all that statement says. Okay, so if they're even, the pattern is going to look like this. If it's an odd function, again, it has this kind of confusing notation, but I'm going to try to make it make sense. So, like, let's say that this point, um, I'm just going to use 2, 4 again. This is 2, 4. Well, this time, this point is negative 2, negative 4. So, again, um, up here, if you are looking, it says one of your x's is positive, one's negative, but they're still the same number. So, I have 2 and I have negative 2. But this time when you look at the whole thing, it says this y is going to be negative, this y is going to be positive. And so if you look again, I have 4 and I have negative 4. Okay, a um, couple things to remember. We talked about on Friday or Thursday, I can't remember. Um, we talked about how sine of theta, which is just your angle, is going to be y. So sine is y cosine is x. Um, I also put right here what the pattern for even looks like and what the pattern for odd looks like. And so I said, what do you notice about sine of theta? And remember again, sine is y. So if you guys look at the y's, I would guess that you could tell me that um, they are opposites, right? One's positive, one's negative. If we looked at the cosine, cosine are the x's, if you look at them, you could probably tell me that even though one is 30 degrees and one is negative 30, these x values are the exact same, both positive. And so here on the next page, I just said all this, but basically, and again, I'm going to fill these in so that you can see it, it says sine of negative theta. So when we looked at sine of negative 30 degrees, it was the exact um, same as negative sine of 30 degrees. So what that means is if we look at sine of 30 degrees, sorry, sine of negative 30, sine is y, it's negative 1 half. Sorry, I'm writing on top of that. And it says that ends up being the exact same as negative Oh my gosh, negative sign of this one. So I have negative, negative one half, which is really just one half. And so I'm basically just filling in this like formula. Down here, it says cosine of negative theta. So this is cosine negative 30 degrees is going to equal cosine of 30 degrees. If you look, it really does happen. So cosine is x's. Here's the cosine of negative 30. So it's really square root of 3 over 2. It says it's going to be the exact same as cosine of 30, and it really is. So it's really just a pattern 
kind of that you're following, it tells you they're either going to be the same or they're going to be opposite signs. Okay, so here's some examples. So you have your unit circle. Um, I gave you like this little table of sine is y, cosine is x. Here's what happens if it's even. Here's what happens if it's odd. So when you do these, the first thing you want to do is you want to look at um, is it an even or an odd? So the first one I have cosine. Cosine is an odd function. And then you kind of want to rewrite it. So right now, hopefully you can see it's written in this form. Cosine's even, so I just made a mistake, so I re-highlighted it. So I'm just going to rewrite this, and so I'm going to write cosine 5 pi over 6, because it says this is the pattern, just make it positive. And then you're just going to 5 pi over 6 on your unit circle, so here it is. Um, cosine is x, so we're just looking at the x value, and that's the answer. So I'm going to erase um, the highlighting I did and get it out of there. So when we do the second one, okay, it's sine. Sine is odd. We want to rewrite so that it matches. So right now it looks like this. I want to rewrite it to look like this. So I'm going to put a negative out in front. I'm going to write the word sine. The x in here is supposed to be positive, so I'm going to write positive 5 pi over 6. I'm going to go to 5 pi over 6 on my unit circle right here. Sine is y, so that's this 1 half. But there's a negative out in front, so you're just going to write negative 1 half. Last one, same thing. It's sine. Sine is odd. If you look right now, it's written like this. We want to rewrite it. So negative out in front, sine, and we want to write positive 60, and it's degrees. There, it would be best if there's a little degree symbol there. So you're going to go find 60 degrees. Here it is. Sine is y. That'd be this. It's got a negative out in front, though, so I just write negative square root of 3 over 2.